Hi. You probably remember from my video on making a character automatic in Blender. Uh, this particular scene, uh, the the character. I mean, the, the, this was actually the last uh, scene on that video uh, showing uh, the bones uh, moving uh, like the uh, joint of uh, the bones um, I mean the connection between the bones and the skin uh, so let's let's select the arm armature I uh, just uh, I, I select it I select the armature and go down to this box you, you, you can see object mode and pose mode then I would select uh, this particular bone and you see uh, it's uh, moving I mean I can I can uh, move the bone okay um, now we want to uh, create an animation uh, making uh, the character uh, behave like uh, a human being in an actual situation uh, walking walking is the object to be achieved in uh, the the objective to be achieved in this video uh, so I would I would go to default default this box and from the drop down list uh, select animation okay we're here animation and here we have uh, uh, on the left side dope sheet summary which simply means background information. I mean, dope means background inf information, uh, summary information, and uh, this is actually uh, summary information about the bones and the way uh, they are supposed. I mean, they they will pro they will be programmed, uh, and we um, here have uh, these. Uh, parameters I mean options post mode again edit mode object mode and also here channel and key so we would need to produce keyframes uh, in this editor uh, so let me let me move uh, this bone a little bit okay now if uh, I press I, I get this list and this uh, block rot, uh, which is referred to location and rotation. So you, you use it to produce keyframes that are related to location and uh, rotation and select uh, that. You see this here and the green line here, I mean the keyframe actually. Uh, now let me go to this line. I mean this is done manually to produce another keyframe. Okay, I'm, I'm here now. And uh, let me move the bone here, the uh, left bone and then the right bone I'm trying to imitate imitate walking a human being walking and then uh, the arms uh, I mean the, the elbow here okay and the other one just okay and now if I go to select and select uh, the whole armature, I mean the way it's posed, and again press I, I get this option. And 
select okay you get the, the the second keyframe here and you you could see that here too uh let's do two more two more uh changing to two more movings this this one the uh, right leg and the left leg also also the arm and this one two i mean you 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 have to understand i mean you understand patterns of walking or patterns of behavior i mean you have to be a good observer or um, uh, study uh, the situation and uh, imitate uh, in blender based on the way in which uh, something takes place in nature i mean that is that is uh, necessary i mean it, it is necessary to you know, be considered uh, then we now have this pose then let me uh, make a new uh, keyframe here and i do the selecting thing okay and i and well this is this is used for x y and z okay this is my third keyframe let me put my cursor here and make another keyframe uh let's do it like this i'm not sure this is actually the way the pattern is a pattern of walking is but i'm just i mean doing it for the sake of making a tutorial and you would uh, once uh, you want to uh, you, you want to do something serious you would have to uh, understand the, 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 the actual pattern and the way nature is and again uh, the arms too I mean you would need that because when we're walking our arms are also moving uh, and now select I select the whole uh, the whole pose uh, yes and i now okay we here have four keyframes let's let's run let's run it run the editor to see what happens uh okay yeah i mean the bones are uh moving let me do it again okay uh let's let me do it this a 3d view full and uh, let's see what's happened what happens here yeah you see i mean it's a primitive way actually to show walking but it works uh, let's go back to animation once again and uh, stop this now we have the keyframes here and uh, they are they are selected i mean this the, the their yellow yellow is sort of orange and this shows that they are already selected so if you if if you uh, press shift and v that means to duplicate that uh, shift and v okay and now you could uh, grab it and look let's do it here yeah uh let me let me go to the beginning and you see i mean it's it's doubled well no something went wrong uh let me repeat that yeah 
shift and it has to be done very smoothly and in uh, it, it doesn't have to go up or down I mean at least at this time oh, oh what has happened yes let's see if it works uh, no way <laughs> uh, one one more time I mean when when you were working with this type of uh, thing I mean you, you have to make uh, many uh, uh, reputations that uh, sort of doing things over and over again uh, let's do it more skillfully uh, okay shift uh, D okay well no it shouldn't be that let me now now if uh, press G and that means to grab it okay yes it has to be okay now let's see yeah yeah uh, you see the bones are moving and uh, the character is walking although it might not be uh, it might not uh, look very realistic uh, bec because uh, we need to study the pattern the patterns of walking or the way it happens in nature but let me change this 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 parameter to 70 70 from 0 to 70 and return now it's from 1 to 70 uh, and uh, uh, go to 3D view full or spacebar and play animation okay yes yeah uh, it, it does something I mean it be behaving in a certain way but it looks like walking uh, this let me go back to the uh, animation and uh, stop it uh, but this is this is basically the end of uh, this this video I mean we have two uh, two options here I mean uh, channel and key and once you're advanced and you want to make something serious you have to use these two and uh, use the options and the uh, parameters like uh, you could you could copy paste copy keyframes paste keyframes mirror them snap uh, transform and all other uh, options that you have here and also uh, it's uh, the same with channel channel and well in the uh, next video I will I will discuss the uh, channel and key frames uh, more in detail uh, thank you very much for watching uh, I will see you in my next video which will be on uh, channel and key frames in blender in relation to animation goodbye